This is Omar Radawi with Capital News Update. What is your name? Zach Eddington. And where are you from? Marshall, Illinois. Okay. That is a southern uh, country, correct? Uh, county. All right, let's start over, start over. I said county, country. All right, so yeah, that, that is a southern city. All right, yeah, start over. Yeah. Wait, what, here, what's your name? Zach Eddington. Zach Eddington from Marshall, Illinois. Okay. <laughs> Representing. Right, yeah. This is Omar Adawi with Capital News Update. I'm here with Zach Eddington from Marshall, Illinois. Mr. Eddington, do you believe that geography affects voting? Uh, yes, I do. I think uh, I have more in common with the Southern delegates here than I do with the northern delegates so yes it does in my opinion now, are you are you disinclined to vote for a candidate with liberal views uh, as long as I like his opinions really well uh, I think I'd vote for him but like I said I have more in common with the southern delegates this is Omar Adali signing off for Capital News Update This is Omar Radali with Capital News Update. I'm here with Mr. Eckernack from Carl Sandburg High School, the advisor of the delegation. Mr. Eckernack, do you believe that geography has anything to do with voting? I think it has a lot to do. I think the uh, voters ha are more comfortable with people from their general geographic region, and so when they get down here, they have a tendency to vote for that candidate if all other things are equal. I think the speeches and everything uh, can make a difference, but if they don't, then they're going to probably vote for the candidate from their region. Thank you very much. This is Omar Adawi signing off for Capital News Update. This is Omar Adawi with Capital News Update. I'm here with Neil Tucker from Elmhurst Lake Park, a town right outside of Chicago. Mr. Tucker, do you believe geography affects voting? Well, that depends. If the bill has to do with something that's closely to my house and the geography affects my decision, um, say something that like involves farmland would be like with the South, and I really wouldn't care about that, so I would be less inclined to vote for it. But if it involves something that you know involves people and populations, you know, North has people, um, yeah, I'd have to say I'd be more inclined to vote for that. As a northerner, are you in more inclined to vote for a northern candidate? Well, like I said, most northerners, you know, they deal with topics that, you know, like are closer to heart with me. And I would be more inclined to vote for them if it involves me. This is Omar Adali signing off for Capital News Update. This is Omar Adali with Capital News Update. I'm here with the advisor from Edwardsville High School, Mr. John Parkin. Now, Edwardsville is a town right next to St. Louis, am I correct? It's about 20 miles northeast of St. Louis as the crow flies. Okay. All right. Do you believe geography affects voting, Mr. Parkin? Uh, in what respect do you mean that? Um, do you believe that southern delegates uh, inherently have more in common with southern candidates? Uh, possibly. It's kind of hard for me to answer that question because I'm from Chicago originally. But I, there is definitely a uh, regional way to voting, both for adults and for students. Plus, we make fun of each other's accents. <laughs> this is Omar Radali signing off for Capital News Update. This is Omar Adali with Capital News Update. I'm here with Jacob Gard from Paris Marshall High School. Now, where is Marshall, Mr. Gard? It's about three hours south of here, right on the border by the river. Now, Mr. Gard, do you believe geography affects voting? Yes, because you usually pull for the same stuff that they do down there, just as you would up here for the same views, so. All right, this is Omar Adali. Signing off for Capital News Update. All right.
This is Omar Adawi with Capital News Update. I'm here with Nicole Schmidt and Kelly Doyle. Uh, where are you ladies from? I'm from Lake Park High School, which is the northern suburb of Chicago. I'm also from Lake Park High School in Roselle. Do you ladies believe that geography affects voting? I think really that the only way it affects it is that people from your same school are going to definitely vote for bills from their own school. Otherwise, I don't think it really matters that much. I don't really think it has that big of an effect. I always just look at the bill itself and its credentials. I don't base anything on where you're from or what school you come from or region or anything like that. This is Omar Dali signing off for Capital News Update. I, I support this bill, and I think it's a really great idea because in, in Illinois, and not even just in Illinois, but in the United States, uh, political, part political part participation is too low, and voter participation is too low. And I think by allowing uh, people who aren't yet 18, but will be 18 in the general election to vote in the primary election, it would, give, it would encourage them to vote, to go out and vote, and try to participate and be involved. So that's why I, I supported this bill, and I'm proud to make this the first bill that I signed. This is Omar Adawi with Capital News Update. I'm here with newly elected Governor Kajindos. Um, Governor Kajindos, what do you hope to accomplish in office? Um, well, I hope to pass bills that pertain to the issues that I said I, I really care about in my speech. Civil rights, uh, the environment, health care, education. So those are the issues I would like to get done and get bills passed on. And besides that, I would like to, hopefully, I, I hope I, I've already started improving communication between me and the delegates by uh, what's going on over there right now is, if you can hear the background noise, I've got a meeting with committee chairs in the back. And uh, by meeting with, meeting with committee chairs, it's, it, it's impossible for me to, to meet with every bill group, but I think I can meet with, if I meet with most of the committee chairs, I, I could get them to relay any uh, messages I have to the, the, the uh, legislatures, our legislators in their committees. So I think that's a good step. You focus heavily on civil rights issues in your speech and throughout your campaign. So will, they, will those serve as your priorities in office? Yeah. Uh, Civil rights and civil liberties, uh, those are like my favorite issues. And I think as a society, it's important that we ensure uh, the civil rights, the human rights, the civil liberties of all citizens, because it, it's really uh, the foundation of our society and of our constitution. So that's why I really care about those issues. Um, on certain contentious issues, such as uh, abortion and same-sex marriages, are you willing to compromise your principles? Uh, to, I'm, op I'm, I'm going to keep an open mind, but there's some things that uh, I think if you truly believe in something, that you have to stand behind it, uh, even if there's opposition. Uh, but I'm not inflexible. Like, I, I'm willing to try to get something done. All right. uh, thank you, Governor Kajindos. This is Omar Adawi signing off with Capital News Update.
is Omar Adawi with Capital News Update. I'm here with the Chairman of the Board of Directors, Mr. Andy Paul. My first question, Mr. Paul, is do you believe geography affects voting at all? To an extent, I think that some kids vote for candidates simply because they happen to be from the northern or southern part of the state. But in looking at the vote, vote totals this year, I think that was less of a factor than it maybe even has been in years past. I think that the, the numbers of students versus the numbers of votes, if you want to look at it that way for the northern candidates or southern candidates, there was a bigger disparity and discrepancy between the numbers of students that voted for candidates in the north and the numbers of students that were actually there. Um, are the demographics of the program changing at all? Like, Are there more students from the north or more students from the south? How has that changed in the last five years? It has changed from about a 60-40 ratio three or four years ago to about a 70-30 ratio this year, uh, being the north being larger than the south. It's just that some of the delegations up there have grown larger, where some of the delegations in the southern part of the state have stayed pretty much the same in terms of numbers. Um, do you believe there's any sort of remedy to this? I mean, what if this trend continues that there's a northern governor each year? What is the solution? Well, I, 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 don't think, I don't think that we really look at where the governor's from in terms of where part of the state. Um, I think that this year, that if you look at the numbers of the vote totals, that it was probably a 70-30 split in terms of people, but it was less than a 60-40 split in terms of uh, uh, the vote totals. So I think that the people are voting their conscience and voting, voting their conscience and voting for the, the person that they feel is the best candidate, regardless of what part of the state they're from. Mr. Ball, thank you very much. This is Omar Dali signing off. Yeah. What was that? The uh, geography. Okay. So I'll just start from the beginning. Okay. Uh, Mr. Paul, do you believe geography affects voting at all? I think it. I, I think it affects it. Although this year it seemed to be less than in past years. I think that we found that, that students are voting their conscience and voting the, uh, for the, who they feel is the best candidate, regardless of what part of the state they're from. Hello, this is Ali Dia, and I'm here with Capital News Update. Um, I'm here with Maria, and... <laughs> You can just say your name. Hello, I'm here with Mira. Um, yes, uh, Mira is uh, your lope. <laughs> Hello, this is Ali Dia, and I'm here with Capital News Update, and I'm here from this lobbyist, uh, what's your name? Mira. Yeah, so Mira, are your uh, priority bill low? Yes, it was seventh. Um, what do you think you could, I'm not going to ask the question. Hello, this is Ali Dia from Cap Capital News Update, and I'm here with Mira. So uh, Mira, your bill, uh, how low is the priority? It's seventh. It's seventh? Um, well, why do you think it's seven? Um, I actually don't know. I thought it was a really good bill, um, but there was also, uh, coincidentally, a bill almost exactly like ours in our um, committee, so they thought theirs was better for some reason. So. Well, okay, well, what do you think you could do to make your priority higher? Um, actually, we just wanted to like reestablish the differences between the two bills, um, so maybe people would see that ours is better, but um, see the differences between ours. Um, ours is a little bit more strict. It's like a DUI offense. So um, theirs is just different. And um, if we could point out the differences and make them clear and then have people like choose a side, um, we think that might push ours up a little. Uh, so do you think they had fair reasons to uh, how they judged your bill? No. <laughs> All right, well, thank you, Mira. Um, this is Ali Dia coming from Capital News Update. And thank you.